All right, how's it going, everybody? It's me, Silver Supreme, and welcome back to some more Dastly Dutch at EU4. Now, we're in 1808. I think, to be honest with you, I think we probably got one more solid video after this one before we jump over to Victoria 2. And Lord, I do remember Sicily being outright bum rushed by the Dutch and Serbian coalition here. And that's going to be a thing to behold. Also, the Dutch and the Arabian Empire are in this... What is this war? What is this, like, revolutionary war? Yeah, so, apparently, the Arabian Empire wants to spread the revolution to Cardata, which is actually on the downswing of things. And I believe the Dutch, they... Well, looking at this, they want some land. And probably they are going to get it. Oh, I think the Arabians are going to take that. Yeah, the Dutch definitely want some land. Um, I already got like a big naval fleet over here in Carnada. Carnada is still powerful, but like after the recent strings of defeat against the Dutch, I don't believe they are. Let's see. Religious influence, offensive exploration, quantity. Oh, yeah. Like they, they really aren't in a position against these two juggernauts over here. And. They got a bunch of manpower in reserve and a bunch of manpower, period. But it looks like they're focused on attacking Transoxiana, which is dead. And, oh, it's a vassal? Oh, I did not realize that. But they're also about to attack Arabian Empire or Revolutionary Arabia from the north. But let's kick it back to the... Oh, wait. Oh, they're in this stupid land fang imperialist war. Oh, well, that's, that's a thing. Yeah, let's kick it back over to the Dutch and look over here in North America. The Sicilians are taking back some of their territory. Yeah, it looks like Dutch North America is uh, burning right now against, like, Sicilian South America, Sicilian Mexico, burning this place to the ground. <laughs> yeah, they're not in a good, good spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Louisiana being financed. Better power, Louisiana, to Portugal. Oh, wow. So, Portugal is financing <laughs> rebels in Louisiana, while the British are financing rebels in West Indies, the most profitable colony. And that's why these guys are just sitting out here uh, minding their own business. They're not going to risk it. Yeah, though, this is basically a foregone conclusion. Um, the one that's suffering the most is going to be Sicily. Oh, the Dutch has some rebel issues, but it looks like they're handling it quite well. Yeah, it looks like Carnata is being carpet sieged um, to oblivion. Yeah, the Dutch is passing the stuff they don't want over <laughs> to the Arabian <laughs> Looks like we're trying to get a little bit of little, little, little cheese. We're trying to get a little bit of cheese. Oh, I see. Look at that. Soon the nationalist. Oh, Mosh Pit nationalist. With some particularists as well. Holy crap, the game. Uh, the Dutch is just purchasing a crap ton of stuff. Looks like they uh, knocked all of that out. Uh, what they wanted to get. From their institutions. Actually, let me see. What's the institution? So let's see. Okay, of course, Britain like has industrialization, colonialism, and global trade. They actually got three of the basic institutions. And where is it? They definitely have really. What is that? The Renaissance being the birthplace. Um. Uh, this used to be Bavaria, so Bavaria came out with the Enlightenment? Actually, this is there. Yeah, where? Yeah, that was basically Bavaria. And then Manufactories, that was over here in Arabia. Oh. Yeah, where was this one? Was it this? Yeah, Printing Press was discovered in Loman. Good lord. Well, now. To see this also is like inevitable end. 
Yeah, Carnada, um, its lands are being sieged. Its armies, oh my god, the Dutch just... That, there, that was a big uh, army they got rid of. Where's Carnada's main forces? Okay, they're up there in the highlands still. But there's like a Dutch Arabian wall up here. Yeah, the Dutch are trying to probably get some snack. Probably eat up the rest of Gujarat if I had to guess. Yeah, Sicily is still burning down. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wonder what, like, they even bothering, like, trying to take over here. Oh, well, maybe this is actually a good thing. Maybe the Dutch just want Louisiana to burn um, because of, like, their liberty desire. <laughs> so they're allowing it to burn down. Well, that's kind of mean. Oh, they're, they're sieging some stuff back for the West Indies. They're showing, like, you know, they're not completely cruel. Yeah, Peru is completely, like, all of Sicilian South America is safe. And let's check back over here to Carnada. Yep, Carnada is burning. The Dutch have basically sieged the entire subcontinent. Just trying to, I think they're gonna, the Carnadian army is going to be trapped up north. Uh-oh, wait, 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 we got a battle going on here. Wow. They slow this down. Yeah, the Dutch, as you can see, they are just, uh, just, yeah, they just shredded the entire little Carnadian force over here. Oh, uh, looks like they're going to liberate Transoxiana. Oh, uh, we got another battle. Yeah, again, the Dutch are just shredding. I guess this is revenge for the slaughter and the massacre of uh, Sri Lanka. That's <laughs> With 30,000 Dutch men were trapped on Sri Lanka and were murdered by the Carnadian armies. Yeah, I guess the Dutch are finally getting like their revenge for that blood debt. Hmm, Carnada looks like they managed to see some of this stuff back. Especially Jombi. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, another slaughter for Carnada. Yeah, Carnada, they're probably bleeding through manpower at this point. Yeah, their manpower, I think, dropped by almost half. This is the last time I've seen it. Yeah, they're at negative 96% war score. And geez, how is this war still going on? I know Dutch war exhaustion is getting high because of like these multiple wars, but also Thuringia is completely sieged down. And I think North America is like, you know, completely melted. <laughs> yeah, now they're attacking. Oh, the Sicilian army attacked, like, this Dutch unit up here. And the Dutch are actually kind of holding them all. Uh. Are you seriously saying? I don't think the, the Dutch, oh, they got negative two of these penalties. Oh, man, but the Dutch are holding out. But they're, they're not, they're, they don't have enough manpower to hold out for this long. Yeah, they already got artillery up there. It's done. They, they killed a bunch of Sicilians after being outnumbered. Oh, they're dropping off more troops, and the West Indies are actually helping. But again, I guess this is like letting Louisiana get punished for um, any ideas of liberty. Oh, wait, Carnata surrendered. Ooh. Ew. So, the Arabian Empire just... Forced to release Gujarat. Oh, man. Did Punjab get some of his territories back? I have no idea, but um, maybe not. Doesn't look like it, but yeah, they actually... Uh, holy crap. They just broke apart Kanata. Yeah, Karnada is no longer this juggernaut. They actually broke it up into like these... <laughs> 
<laughs> Small little prince dooms. Oh my god. Guaranteeing the independence of all of this, but like, I don't think that's gonna last long. Especially if the Dutch are hungry for land. Yeah. Wow, they, they actually did that war to just break up Carnada. And now this war, the Sicilian Navy is up against the Serbian Navy. Yeah, Sicily has like a mighty fleet down here. So, uh, you guys are going to end this war. And then we're probably going to see, like, uh, War of Independence. <laughs> yeah, that'll be interesting. A War of Independence between, like, Portugal and the Dutch, or even, like, Britannia and the Dutch. That'll be definitely something to see. Oh, I thought these guys were the same house. Holy crap, that would have been stupid if we had, like, another personal union between Britain and the Portugal... <laughs> The Sicilian Navy also attacked a little Dutch West Indy fleet. It looks like these guys are freeing their little brethren down here. Um, yeah. What? What is really this war over? It. <laughs> we got ten more years left of this game, and Sicily is basically a desolate wasteland. It's just burning. <laughs> Goods down local manpower yet. Are they? I really wonder if it's over something silly because the majority, like this entire alliance, is basically the Sicilian Empire and Thuringia against the Dutch, Abyssinia, and Serbia. Yeah, what does. Yeah, what does the Dutch want at the end of all this? What about Abyssinia? They said they're. Oh, they got particularists. Oh, they got that handled. Granada is supporting the independence of Georgia because I. <laughs> and now these guys are fighting each other. Delhi is now trying to fight these little um, guys that were just released. Now we might see the rise of Delhi. And who knows, Carnata, or I mean, Loma might get revenge on Carnata. Hmm, I wonder, what do y'all fools? Oh wait, now it's at negative 99. Oh, they pieced out Sicily. Okay, so. Mm hmm, Sicily. Oh, whoa. Oh, so they took over Alaska. <laughs> okay, that is unexpected. The Dutch just took over all of Alaska. Uh, Louisiana is still burning. Yeah, the, they, they just took over all of Alaska. Um, did they take over any parts of Mexico? Oh yeah, they did. They took some parts of Mexico. Oh, nothing down here, of course. Oh, uh, they kept, they let them keep like the little South American holding. I mean, South Africa holding. And yeah, they probably, what's your war reparations looking like? Sicilian, Peru, support loyalists. Oh, they're trying to support loyalists in their colonies. Um, and they're not really paying war reparations. Their manpower is gone. 
though. And now they got like a little bit of liberty desire in their colonies. Yeah. Uh, Thuringia. Yeah, so you're alone. So I think you're about to just get annexed by the Dutch. Ooh. Well, you know, I'm surprised they went for um, Alaska. I was halfway thinking they were going to go for Mexico, but I guess they didn't have enough forces down here, so I guess they did the next best thing, and they took what they could get up here. Yeah, Cascadia came out all right with this. Cascadia came out just fine. So now the Dutch actually control... Alaska all the way connects through the Great Plains and leads out into the Gulf of Mexico. Eh. Hey, I know. That's, that's kind of neat. Um, and Thuringia, are you alive? No, I, I think you're dead. Yeah, you are definitely dead. And uh, currently making a sex in the primary culture in Leipzig. Oh my. Hmm, now that I think about it, um, since the ring is dead and that massive war is over, I guess the Dutch can now relax, but, you know, they're still making money. Cascadian Liberty Desire has gone up. Yeah, I guess now, um, what? Oh, well, Colonial Wars. I suppose, yeah, it looks like the Dutch are, they signed an agreement with Revolutionary uh, Arabia. They just said, hey, we'll release these states, we'll say we did it, and then we'll kill them. And then, uh, Serbia has just declared war Jazeera. Um, what? Oh, wait, the Dutch are on the same side? Of, what the hell? Wait, Serbia, are you allied to Britain? Oh, you are. Oh, playing the great powers off each other. Oh, uh, against Jazeera, Ruthenia, Revolution, Ardenline. I don't know, no one cares about them. Georgia. Oh, so. Okay, Serbia and Britain with the Dutch are coming in to kill um, Jazeera. I think that's A-OK. -okay. All the while, the Dutch are just bullying these, like, tiny uh, Indian states. And now that I think about it, Carnada's land... Well, not completely land, dog. I forgot they had, like, these holdings over here. Yeah, Carnada, you may not be in a particular great position right now. And it looks like the Dutch... They're, oh, they're also at war with Malwa. Uh, I think they're probably trying to get a two-for-one. But, uh, Jazeera is completely screwed. Why is, is, wait, is Romania also in on this war? Kiev, Austria, Sicily, huh? Romania, Kiev, and, oh, so Romania is attacking Kiev. Uh, <laughs> and Kiev called it basically the Holy Roman Empire and, uh, Sicily. But Sicily is, you know, Sicily would have probably been able to do something. Oh, Portugal's on this as well. Never mind. Sicily is a uh, corpse right now. They landed some troops over here, but um, it's burning. <laughs> Sicily is literally burning. And then now the Portuguese and Sicilian Empire is going to be attacking one another. Oh, and Louisiana is being attacked by Canada. Wait, how? Aren't you guys on the same side in this other war? Oh, wait. Defender, Britannic Cannon, and Britannic Army, and Mesqua. Wait, so, um. They're, they're both on the same side in a war with their overlords, but they're in a separate war amongst themselves. Uh. Okay. I'm not really sure how that works, but. Yeah, there's nothing that the Dutch Louisiana can do. 
especially with Canada like coming in down one though. Let's see, just Louisiana. They, yeah, they. There's no way they're gonna be able to fight. They're not fighting all that. Simultaneously, the Dutch just took over this little port over here. And are they still at war? Mala, no. Ood is at war with them now. Oh, Karnada. Your time in the sun has pretty much led to pure chaos over here in India. Jazeera is getting more sliced and diced as time goes on. Everything is just an empty punching bag over here. Portuguese and Sicilian troops are fighting in the Netherlands. Finnish troops are uh, remaining in Portugal. Oh yeah, they're they're allied in the other war. Okay, so Finland is about to probably lose these Italian territories to Portugal. And yeah, British Louisiana just kind of uh, took over a huge chunk. Yeah, how did they do that when they were like both allied in the same war? Yeah, they, they managed to take that over. Maybe it's because the colonial war is different. Yeah, they managed to completely steal that away from Dutch Louisiana and then force them to, like, um, release these other states. And, let's see. Oh, wait, actually, we might reach it to the end goal in this video. Yeah, as long as we keep it on speed five, we probably might reach it uh, by the end of this video, folks. Holy crap. How many? Uh, oh, it's mostly down in India, right? Oh, they they handle them. Punjab, are you going to get revenge on Karnada? I mean, you definitely should. Oh, well, you're attacking like some of these smaller states as well. How's it going over here in China? Largely peaceful. Oh, Korea uh, completely ate up, what is this? Orchoni, and they unified their Siberia holding. <laughs> now that is beautiful. These guys are all like tributaries of Korea. So, Ruthenia, have you learned a lesson? Yeah, your lands are being pillaged and burned. Romania also just marched on through. Yeah, most of these, like, most of these heartland, like, Central European states that are, like, remnants of the Holy Roman Empire are we're basically being eaten up. It's not that many princes left of the Holy Roman Empire. And then everyone's now voted for, for Austria. Austria is now the new emperor. Even Nordgau is voting for them. Oh, wait. Finland just crushed a little bit of the Portuguese troops. Let's see, Portugal is like once again trying to become a military hegemon. Let's 
Let's see, Jazeera. I was about to, yeah, you have to get through like this whole crazy fort line. But seeing as how Ruthenia is going to be, oh god, that scared me. <laughs> seeing as how Ruthenia is dead, Jazeera is all that's left. Hmm. Anyone? Yeah, it seems that these last little crescendo wars. Oh, of course, Jazeera sent. For some reason, they all just love to go over here to Cairo. I have no idea why. I mean, I, I get it. It's like really profitable territory, but you know, you're sacrificing your entire land um, to just hold this all. Wow, the Dutch are just making a crap ton of money. Colony changes, minus 1,000. Hmm, what the hell is that expense? Is that like, that's supposed to be like them financing? So our city is looted. Da, 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 da. Basil Peas don't have an overlord. Well, probably because like what happened to Dutch Louisiana pissed off everyone. And oh, and then the Dutch and Serbians are coming here. They freed Egypt really quick. And these guys are just running through North Africa like it's Sunday. Because why not? And Ruthenia is almost completely seized. Uh, Finland is being massacred by the Portuguese. <laughs> but hey, at least they're like liberating something. I think they're trying to get as much as they can. Yeah, the Serbian army just crushed those guys. It looks like we're going to probably end this on a cliffhanger, folks. We got three more years left. Yeah, why are you guys, why are you guys down here? Like, and then, uh-oh. Are you guys trapped? Oh, no, you got military access through Portugal. I really think the Dutch just kind of neglected North Africa, seeing as how this wasn't really a front line for most of their stuff. Oh, did Ruthenia? Oh, no. I thought they peace out. Oh, but the capital of Jazeera is um, about to fall. Finland is completely occupied. And Jazeera is just running through Africa because I guess it can and yeah the Dutch are just mastering what remains well you guys I, I think it's now is a good time for you to peace out yes we all have to remember the revolutionary heart of the Arabian Empire Surprisingly, I'm surprised they were the ones that had the uh, revolution. The attacking cock is old and Punjab now. Mm, I guess they're getting hungry to expand over here. And Jazeera, come on. I really think you should just capitulate now, Jazeera. This war is beyond done. Uh, Bithynia is sieging back his capital. Managed to siege back some of his territories up here. Oh, Finland surrendered. Oh, what do you know? Romania now has access to the Baltics in a bastardized way. Make him anything for Portugal? No. Oh, yeah, now Finland is kind of. Kind of messy right now. And finish Croatia imperialist war. Oh. Wait, did Finland declare war on Croatia? Yes, they did. And they're a oh, Finnish empire. But they want to take over some more territory. <laughs> Again, Romania came out ahead on that one. Portugal was just more like, meh. 
Well, I think we all learned a valuable lesson. I think, yeah, we all learned a really valuable lesson. Well, Jazeera is gonna exist in... Yeah, there they go. Uh, Serbia take anything? Okay, they only took, like, one little county over here. Nothing, yeah, nothing crazy happened. So, yeah, Serbia took over this one little county. Um, and it's peace in our time once again. And I think this is how we're going to coast it all in to, like, uh, Victoria 2. No one went down naval hegemony, of course. Uh, then, looks like the Dutch are attacking Wichita. Um, yeah, it looks like they're trying to scrap together, uh, what remains of, like, the Louisiana Territory over here. Yeah, how the hell did British Canada, like, manage to pull that off? Holy crap, they have a ton of troops. Quantity, offensive, humanist. Oh, yeah, of course. Will the siege of Wichita be like the last war of the game? Yeah. Highly doubt, like. Well, maybe the Dutch could probably piece it together. But no, it's. I think we're about to wrap this one up here. Finland and Sicily are at war again. Yeah, we're going to, you know, let me also save it just to be sure no crap happens. So, I think this will be, like, the last great battle of the game. Uh, this Kikisa, the Sicilian Conquistador against this uh, Finnish army uh, general. Like, they're at war. Uh, and they pissed. Okay, so the Finnish got, like, you know, kicked right out of the Norman. Sicily. Polish separatists in Britannia. <laughs> yeah, Revolutionary Arabian Empire is um, completely conquering this land. Oh, yeah, the Dutch did declare like this last little bit of land for its own. But... It's not going to end. I think the game just... Okay, there it goes. Bang on. You know what? Here, just to make this a little bit cleaner. Um, here, I'm going to do this. I'll let you guys go to war. Like, wipe these guys out. And then hopefully this Sicilian war will end at the same time. Oh, that's not going to end anytime soon. Wait, wait, what did that say? Your war against Finland, Swabia, Serbia. Uh, wait, Serbia is in on this war as well. Oh, they're allies of Finland. Oh, okay. So that's, um, that's going to be dumb. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna give the Dutch just a little time to just conquer this, leave this little native state alone. Everyone's gonna win something. Everyone wins a prize. Except you, Sicily. Um, you're just gonna. Oh God, now it's just too much chaos over here. And anyway, we're we're not even gonna discuss um. India right now. India's just gonna be a mess going in. Okay. So there, I, I let them, the Dutch finish this like nice little quick war uh, so Louisiana can get some of its dignity back, though it's no longer connected because of this nonsense. But, yep, this is it. This was the end of the EU4 portion of Dastly Dutch. It took me long enough to get here. <laughs> but I think I'm going to actually have a nice little semi-proper game of Victoria 2 uh, after this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And 
hopefully when we return, you should see this in some Victoria 2 shenanigans. So without further ado, this is Solo Supreme, and have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness. No, 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 no.